Hello, my name is Ed Frawley. In the DVD that I produced with Michael Ellis, titled The Power of Training Dogs with Food, there's a chapter on determining what type and size of food reward to use if you're going to train your dog with food. The short lecture that you're about to see is a very small part of that chapter. Okay, so now we'll talk a little bit about uh, the types and sizes of food that we use for food rewards. This is really important, right? So obviously one of the first considerations is palatability. So when we first start all this work out, uh, we were relying on the dog's food drive or hunger drive to motivate them. And so we need something that's palatable to the dog that they like, right? So obviously important. Uh, so the size of the pieces, generally speaking, so we choose something palatable. Uh, we choose something generally that's softer, that the dog can eat quickly. I don't like to give my dogs hard treats and stuff when I'm training a lot because the dogs have to spend too much time chewing and it slows things down between rewards. So if I give them a hard treat, it's, they're frequently sitting there munching while I'm waiting for them to finish. So we use a softer treat. Softer treats tend to be more palatable. We use a lot of uh, food, of um, whether there are dog food rolls, there's a bunch of different brands. There's Natural Balance and Rollover and Oinker. Well, there's all kinds of different pet botanicals. There's tons of companies now that make various and sundry dog food rolls, like a beef log, and we use those. The dogs tend to find them very palatable. Uh, they're relatively healthy. Um, but regardless, you could chop up hot dogs, you can use anything the dog finds palatable, soft, and you can control the size of the reward. We tend to cut them up in little cubes that are a quarter to three eighths of an inch across. We generally, it depends obviously on the size of the dog, but we generally want a piece that's big enough that the dog finds it rewarding. They feel like they're getting something. Um, big enough for us to control and hold in our hand comfortably and manipulate the dog as we lure, but uh, not so big that the dog gets full super quickly or spends a lot of time chewing. We want them to be able to eat it quickly and move on to the next one. So an average size piece would be like this, like the end of my fingernail, which is probably just a little over a quarter inch square. And we just chop them up and use these types of rewards.